Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of Dark Souls. Update! I now have the Divine Fist of Divine Favorness. And in order to do so, I had to basically just skip straight to the area where I can get Green Titanite to upgrade the fist. So, just so you know, I didn't fight any bosses, and I really haven't done a whole lot between two episodes. Just so you know. So everything that's going to be happening in this episode new content I have not ruined it for myself in any way just so you know okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the undead asylum via bird as you'll find out in about 30 seconds hmm 30 seconds but yeah the reason I'm going back to the undead asylum is to fight a secret boss and get uh, the rusted iron ring which allows me to run through poison and water without being hindered or slowed okay here we go oh look at that I look just like the eggs hmm that's a mystery yep guess you better take me to a set place wait how does that bird even have eggs like is there like another giant bird that I don't know about that's a uh, that is mating with this giant bird what's going on and that bird needs more of a backstory I hope that's one thing they do in uh, Dark Souls 2 is they bring back the giant bird and its backstory okay so I'm back at the perch outside of the undead asylum and now I get to work my way backwards Okay, so as you can see, my fist deals about 250 damage, and I'm going to try to use that to the best of my ability to fight the boss. However, it's not going to work out quite so well. Because believe it or not, the boss is actually really quite hard and can possibly two-shot me. Um, however, he is really weak to bleed damage, so... If I whip out my mace and hit him with it, um, he's going to be losing about a good chunk of his bar every few minutes. Divine Fist of Divine Favorness. And the Divine Fist of Divine Favorness is actually a lot stronger than the Divine Sword of Astora. Or is it just a Sword of Astora? Yep, you give me one second. Actually, you no, know, I'll just continue with the thing. I'll show you the boss in a bit. However, there's an item, or if you know there's a shield, I need to get to help me um, defend myself against the boss's magic attacks. Because the shield I'm about to get will allow me to block approximately 80% of magic damage. And okay. I can't even use poison yet. Alright. Uh, poison Miss is something I got between episodes, and I will show you its location when I get down to the depths of Blight Town. However, it is a really good PvP item because you fight these jackasses and they kind of just run into it. And then they get poisoned and they're losing about 3 health a second, which, even though it doesn't sound like a whole lot, it, um. Uh, Definitely changes the tide of the battle in your favor. Okay, this here is the knight that I basically ran up and punched in the face in the very first episode, so. I don't know how he's back to life, because I believe I did kill him. Very confusing. Face punch of justice! Thanks for the thousand souls, jackass. Yep, crush shield. 80% magic damage. That's all you need to know. And 100% physical damage. Okay, now down here is a black knight. And I have no clue I'm gonna fight him, but... I'm here to pick fights! Because I am the fist fighting character, so it's only f uh, fitting that I pick fights with people. It's what Pope Benedict would have wanted. Boy, well, he's not here. That son of a bitch always starts off with a sneak attack. But I always start off with a fist of the nuts. Ok, 
Okay, it'd be nice if I could get around you, sir. <clears throat> that was actually pretty close. He almost stabbed me. More shots to the balls. Oh, so we can get behind him for the. Okay, that was down a. There's the backstab. Right in the ass. Okay, that's the first. That's, that's about half of the undead asylum that I need to take care of. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill the boss with my fists. And I. You know, to be quite honest, I'm not entirely too uh, cheerful about this. Matter of fact, the odds are not in my favor. I just realized I have 25 favor and I still haven't gotten my Zeus Thunderbolts yet. And that was bullshit because I was blocking. Well, I just had the trigger held down. So. Let's try that again. Round two. I guess I'm not getting a backstab. Okay. And how you get to the boss is very, very tricky. As a matter of fact, when you're returning and you're running through those doors, there's a chance that you're just going to fall through the floor and right into the boss fight. So when you first enter, you kind of just want to like hug the perimeter because there it is. A giant fucking hole. But at least he turned his back so he doesn't notice me. That's nice of him. And that was bull crap because I had my shield up. Now when he does that, you immediately want to deselect your target lock and run the fuck away. Because if he lands on top of you, guess what happens when Fatty Lumpkins lands on top of you? It's quite possible you'll die. And the reason I'm at a huge disadvantage here is because I'm using the fists, and the fists have a very low chance of actually hitting my opponents. Okay, so the strategy here is to just basically punch him once or twice. And if you have a bleeding weapon, try to get as many bleed combos as possible. Now, if you don't know what a bleed combo is, I will show you at the end of this fight. So, basically, I'm just going to be doing the same thing over and over again. So, I'm just going to do a huge major cutout pretty soon. More bullshit. I had my shield up. Oh, the nose. Okay, that didn't even hit me. Okay, so I switched back to the Mace of Bleed Damage, just to show you what's going to happen when I hit him three times. So there's one, there's two, and never mind. Three. There you go. Now, it doesn't actually add to the amount of damage that I've done, but it does actually, like, take away a large chunk of his health. So yeah, Bleed Weapons are actually quite powerful in this game, so the Uchi Katana even though it looks like a weak weapon, it's actually quite powerful because you hit a person three times and there's an additional 300 damage. Okay, now up ahead is a black knight and a doll. The doll is actually quite important to me and more bullshit. Face punch of justice. Backstab of justice. Okay, can't get that way. Oh, thank you, sir. I guy didn't even hit my shield, he just stabbed me in the face. 
Fuck your ass. Okay, no he's on take it. No, he's dead. Okay. Plenty of level ups. Thank you, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, and that was my soul. And now we're back at the beginning of the game. Much, much more powerful than we were at first, of course. Okay, and now there's only one thing left for me to get, and that is the rusted ring. Now what I should have done is when I kill the Sir Knightly the fucktard, who died once and came back hollowed, um, I should have gone and gotten the ring, but of course. I am also a undead knight of holy fucktard. Okay, now the reason I'm up um, putting points into attunement is so I have more uh, magic slots to cast magic, lightning, heals, force pushes, poison mess. Basically, I'm setting myself up for the rest of the game. That's what attunement does, kind of. Okay, now sadly, Mr. Knightly the Knight does not come back. Fuck? But apparently that ball does. I did not... I didn't even know that. Actually. That's complete bogus. Yeah. <sighs> Dark Souls. Hello, do I have your attention please? Fissy punch! Okay, I pressed my button for the shield, but no. Okay, now the fist isn't exactly all powerful, but it's strong enough, okay? And here's the ring. It is impossible to get this ring in the beginning of the game. F.Y.I. There you go. Okay, and that should do her for the Undead Asylum, so... I'm probably gonna be doing another cutout about sort of around here-ish. Maybe after I kill these guys. Yep, and then after this I'm gonna be heading towards the depths of, um, the Undead Town. Now you're probably wondering where I got the robes? Yep. That would be episode 3.5 that I did not show. The reason I didn't show episode 3.5 is because it got corrupted. Yeah, I recorded it under a different kind of file, so it got messed up. Okay, now we're back in the down. Down. First things first, is we're gonna kill everyone. Get my lightning bolts. Oh, I'll see you later then that one. Ooh, that really whizzed by my shoulder. Okay, Master Marksman. That was a Call of Duty moment right there. Pray at the Sunlight Altar. Let's see, you gotta have 25 faith and you can do this. Now, if you're in this covenant, um, basically, when you're in Anor Orlando, which I'll probably be showing you in like five episodes, be a member of this covenant. Anor Orlando. Good things. Very good things. You want this covenant. Because what this covenant does is it actually connects you to a server that allows you to find, um, other Sunlight Bros to summon and help you fight, uh, bosses and whatnot, so. Be a Sunbro. Join the Sunbro army. Whether you're a mage, whether you're a, a strength character, or a dexterity character, or even if you're just screwing around, become a Sunbro today. Okay. This is not the game I thought I was playing. I could have sworn I already killed the dragon, but um, nope. That's another playthrough. My bad. Oh, 
Okay, Mr. Durgan. Let's say hello to Lightning's Beer. Lightning's Beer. Alright. Actually, you know, I'm not even going to waste time fighting the dragon. It's not worth it at all. And I don't have a bow to shoot his tail off, so never mind. Remember what I said. Hit their backside. You can get their backside as a weapon. Especially this Dargan. Squishy, squishy Dargan. Oh, oh, do not. Hey, right, thanks for the free uh, 555 experience. Or souls. Oh, no, no. Now, the good thing about the armor I'm wearing is that it is highly flame retardant. Or retarded, my bad. Okay, one more of that and I'll be dead. Time to panic mode. Or I guess the aggro dragon has run out of range. Like on now, he decides it's a great time to breathe fire and kill everything. But no! Two episodes ago, we didn't get that shit. And now it's time for my favorite boss in the game, Capra Demon. Now I'm going to be doing a bit of exploring before I actually fight the Capra Demon, but basically... He's a dipshit that wields two great swords. And s oh, hey! Speaking of dipshits, he's a dipshit. Two great swords, and he punches my face. In. Yeah, an excellent way to kill these puppy dogs is to just kind of strafe to their side and then power attack their uh, flank. And yep, if you have got the key from the one guy that I killed to get the Uchi Katana, he gives you a key. The key opens doors. Brilliant. Thank you. I am Griggs. Of, I am much obliged. Thanks to you, I'm in our room. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have my sorcery. Besides, I have an important... Okay, so that guy's going to be back at Firelink Shrine. And he will give me the ability to buy sorcerers from him, but, uh... I'm not a sorceries person. I'm a miracle man. I'm a miracle man, and miracle men don't need magic. We just need our faith in God. And our faith in God will keep us alive. Sorry, I forgot I'm a sunbro now. I guess you could technically say I worship the solar system. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Too many monies. Always get that if you can. It's very important for Quilana. Or not Quilana. Quilag's sister. You'll know in a few episodes. Yes, you will. Okay, now on these doors, it is possible to attack this enemy. There's an enemy. Hopefully a spear can do it. But of course I suck. Okay, never mind. Um Is there anything that I can use because I'm not horrible at weapons? Um uh, Aha, uh -huh, the great short of the reach. There we go, gotcha. Come on. Mm, can I please kill you? No. Okay, well, the least I can do is at least damage them a little. What, I can't get this one either? Son of a gun. You know, screw you. I don't even care if that doesn't do damage. I just did it just to screw with you. You're gonna know why I don't like these people. It's because these people are complete jackasses. I mean, they're the kind of enemy that can be rolling and then parry instantly. Okay, there's that one. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, if I get bleed, I die. That's the bleed gumbo bar. Goodbye. Backstab. Vincent's karma. I should probably heal up. Before that, I should probably get the mail breaker from one of these rooms. Let's see, it's not this room, it's uh, I think it's the one on the left? Yeah, it's the one that's now straight across from me. Okay. Mail breaker. It's basically just a dagger that has a high uh, critical chance, or not tr critical chance, but critical damage rate of 110, whatever the hell that means. It's basically a stab someone in the butt, and it's going to do way more damage than my fist would. But you know what? I'm a fist character. We don't do other weapons except to completely bullshit, which we did earlier. Oh, neutral kill. Oh, come on. I could have had that. You can stop swinging any- thank you. Thank you. You're lucky I don't need blood. Can I get two? No, I can only get one, because I suck. I hate these bitches. That was a party! I- yeah, apparently I can block while partying. That makes sense, right? When I swing out my shield, I swing it out with the intention of block damage. Fuck the dogs. Fucking undead thieves. I don't need your armor. Oh, ooh, a guy. I totally forgot about this guy. Always get this guy. This guy is important. Very important. Okay, this is the boss bar gate, but I'm not screwing with that shit. No. No, no, no. I'm not doing that yet. I'm also not dealing with this trap over here. To the left is a thief. Never once ever. Like, I'm going to be going back to a bonfire, so I don't really give a crap about using these lightning spears. Handed to me straight down from Zeus. Matter of fact, who needs Jesus when you got Zeus, right? Zeus. God of thunder and rock and roll. Okay, I don't care about this chick, but uh, this is what she sells. None of it's important. You can only get one humanity. She's got some bows and stuff. Let's see if I can one shot her. Normally, this. Oh, damn it. Normally, this never works, but maybe we can get lucky. Maybe she's. She has one health now. Fucking bitch. Okay, and this leads back to the undead town place. Duo kill! One shot, two kills. Oh come on, I didn't block that. Uh, oh well. Okay, the fog gate. Do, 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 do. Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. No, I don't want to select. Oh, shoot down to Okay, I'm getting lucky. Never mind. Never mind. And let's try that again. I'll be taking that. Nope. Ooh. Drink up. Now, the first thing you want to do in this fight is take out the two dogs. 
This guy, I don't want to go home. Shut up, get in my face. First thing you want to do is you want to hit this guy with the power of lightning. Thank you. Oh, to nose! And yes, you can block his attacks. As a matter of fact, he's one of the few bosses whose attacks you can block. Oh, thank you. You know, you're lucky I have ten of these. One more. I did it. <laughs> Alright, and with that boss dead, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe. It would really help me a whole lot and recommend me to your friends and whatnot. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.